everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the first video I'm filming like since I got quite sick a few days ago and I think my voice is still like not there and I don't feel there yet. Like I still feel like really bogged down with the flu but I wanted to film. I feel good enough to film but I think my like voice and things are like giving it away that I'm not completely better. Um, today we're going to do this look here. It's a P. Louise inspired look again. Um, but I just wanted to put a lot of makeup on my face. We're using the BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Um, I don't know if there's any other exciting products, but yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see as we go through the video. This is obviously the look that I've done today, and I do like how it came out. I just wonder if it's a bit plain. You know me, I like glitter and things, but I've got a tiny bit of glitter on my lash line. If you're not subscribed already, please do. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below. Today's emoji, I'm going to just say it now because I completely forget when it comes to filming my outro. It's going to be like a paint palette. Because we're using bright colours again today. As always, maybe it is time that I did like a neutral look. Yeah. Anyway. I'm not going to yabber on anymore. If you want to see how I got this entire look here, then please just do keep on watching. So I've gone in with my Revolution Conceal and Define in 0 0.5, you probably can't see that, to prime my eyelid. And the palette, of course, we're going in with, like I said, is the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil because it's one of probably like three super bright palettes I've got but the Morphe 35B is being discontinued, so this one makes more sense to use. And the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this bright blue one up here. I'm just taking a flat brush. This is the ABH something. It's rubbed off, I can't see. Any flat brush will do. And I'm just gonna pat this all over my lid. I find this colour really, really pigmented over a base, it's really good. And I'm patting it all over my lid but I'm taking it above my crease, as you can probably see. I'm kind of following the kind of natural shape but, oh I've missed a step, I've missed a step. Fill this in and then I'll <laughs> correct myself. Sellotape. I'm just going to stick this on, trying to match my other eye. Okay, so my sellotape's in place. I'm just going to make sure I've got enough of that on. I don't think this is going to match my other eye already. Then I'm taking my ABH A25 brush and I'm going to dip into this shade here beside that first blue that we used. And I'm just gonna start blending around the edges of this. Just kind of deepening up the edges. Don't worry about the lid if any of the kind of blue kind of falls off when we're blending, so we can go back in and re-intensify it. Then I'm gonna go in with this deep purple here, just on that same A25 brush. And start going round the edge with that. This is actually a really quick look. I was quite surprised on my other eye how quick I did it. Then I'm taking this much brighter purple up the top here. Just on the same brush, I keep like a makeup towel on my desk that I just kind of scrub my brushes on. And I'm going to go round the top with this brighter purple. And then I'm going to move into this bright pink and then this kind of more muted pink and pop those above the purples. And again, this doesn't look good right now, but it will all kind of make sense. Trust me. I think quite often eye looks can look pretty bad until you're done. That was the deeper pink, now I'm going in with a slightly lighter pink. 
and this look kind of hits the brown and then I actually went in with a little bit of yellow as well just very lightly round the edges kind of barely see the yellow but I feel like it's helping it blend into my kind of base I'm gonna go back with a bit more um purple and just make sure I'm matching the other side bringing that a little bit higher can you hear how windy it is outside and then a little bit more pink as well it's all about just kind of going back in adding a bit adding a bit adding a bit more until you're happy with it yeah i'm really starting to match the other side better now that i'm going in again and just kind of adding a bit more purple and pink then i'm going back in with that original blue And I don't mind that it's looking a little bit messy at the edges. I just want to make sure that that blue is really statement and really there. So I'm just patting that back on. And then I'm going to pick up a smaller blending brush, dip into the blue, and then just start blending that really gently into the purple. I do find it blends quite naturally into the purple. I don't have to put in a lot of work and it blends quite nicely. Right, I've completely forgotten where I was because Hamish came in and spoke to me and I just lost, lost everything. Right, I'm pretty happy with that blending. Now I'm gonna go in with my Collection Extreme 24 hour felt tip liner. This is one of the best like felt tip liners you can get and it's very cheap. So very good. And I'm gonna just do a wing quickly. It's just such a good eyeliner. I really recommend it if you've not tried it and you do struggle with eyeliner. And I'll take the tape off to reveal oh, a beautiful, beautiful sharp wing. Use sellotape if you struggle with wings. It is so much easier. So for the pop of sparkle on my wing, I'm going in with a sample beauty pigment and this is the Kira B pigment. This is gorgeous. It's like quite a chunky, glittery, gold pigment. It's beautiful. I'm going to firstly use the collection Glam Crystals Glitter Glue and I'm just going to kind of dab that on the central part of the wing. Oh, I'm kind of messing my wing up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little brush and just start patting this on. Don't worry about any mess, we can always clean that up. So now I'm going in with a new Eyler Blend and Care. This is like, it's just like a mascara, but it's basically gonna help your false lashes and your real lashes kind of melt together a lot more seamlessly. I'm just putting that on like a mascara. And the lashes I'm using are the Eyler Definitions in 126, which are quite dramatic. I've used these before once and I really liked them. You get the gist, that's not applied at all, but I'll put it on and then we'll move on to skin. Right, well ignore my hair for now and the fact that I'm in my pajamas. Let's move on to skin. The first thing I'm gonna use is the Ordinary Natural Moisturizing Factors Plus HA um, for surface hydration. I've not really got an opinion on this yet, because I've only used it like four or five times and it's very thick like compared to thought what like I thought it would be that was way too much my skin needs moisture I think my skin's starting to go on the dry side so 
that's all right. I would still rather my skin was dry than oily. I think it's a lot easier to kind of deal with. But that was so inexpensive. It's like four pounds or something. And it feels really nice. So I'm just using that as my kind of moisturizer today. For foundation, I'm gonna use my old favorite, which is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting. This is like my holy grail, but potentially it's gonna be like second place to the Norris Radiant one. But I'm gonna use this because I used it the other day and just fell in love with it all over again. It's just the perfect foundation. I mean, Stacey Marie anyway, just go back to me on DMs. <coughs> Still ill. I um, just saw, was it yesterday, she announced her palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics. I'm definitely gonna buy it because I love Stacey Marie MUA so much. And that palette looks right up my alley. This tube's like running out by the way. But also I am putting on a lot. Yeah, this foundation's just glorious. I need a foundation brush actually. I'm gonna use my Sigma F80 foundation brush purely because I haven't wet my sponge and I can't be bothered to go through to my kitchen <laughs> and wash a sponge and then use it, so. I'm still not well, okay? That's the reason. Look at that foundation. Look at it. Look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so reminiscent, like the NARS Radiant one that I've um, been going on about loving so much recently. It reminds me a lot of this foundation in coverage. It's not quite as full coverage as the um, Clinique, but both of them just sit so flawlessly on the skin that I really recommend them both. To be honest though, I think if I had like, if I had to make the decision and pick between them, I would actually pick the Clinique because A, it's 10 pounds cheaper than the NARS. I need to take this down my neck because it's actually a little bit too dark for me. Anyway, it's 10 pounds cheaper than the NARS and it's actually definitely fuller coverage than the NARS, although the NARS has really gorgeous coverage and you know that I like, <coughs> I like full coverage, but um, yeah, I think I would actually pick the Clinique now that I've used it again. I'm just like, oh, it's beautiful. Even with a brush, and I hate applying foundation with a brush. It's so nice on my skin. Although if you want a good foundation brush, this is a really classic one, the Sigma one. It's phenomenal. For concealer, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter concealer. I need to pick up the Clinique Beyond Perfecting concealer that everyone's going on about these days. Um, so I'm just patting that on, and then I'm actually gonna use my Benefit Dandelion Shy Beam, which is like a matte pink highlighter and just chuck that on under there as well just because I want my under to be quite bright and the Urban Decay concealer although it's my favorite can be a little bit dry so if I mix it with something a bit more kind of illuminating and moisturizing it looks ever so slightly better if you've got slightly dry skin so just using a Real Technique setting brush, just to pop that on. I'm just kind of patting it where I put it because I don't want to like smear out and take away the coverage from underneath my eyes. So I'm just kind of patting it to make sure the edges are blended with whatever's left of my foundation brush. Gosh, that is brightening, isn't it? Telling you that Urban Decay Concealer is sick. Look at the difference. 
I'll do the same thing to the other eye and then quickly powder and then I'll come back because that's like boring to watch. It's gonna be two minutes. So I've just powdered, but hopefully you can see my skin still has a really lovely glow to it. First of all, the Clinique foundation definitely has like a satin finish, so it's not matte. But this, I really fall in love with this, the Collection Primed and Ready Illuminating Setting Powder. It's a setting powder, but it's illuminating. Can you believe it? And it's got like, I would say a pink reflect to it. So if you've got pink toned skin, it's gonna work perfectly. If you've got like super yellow skin, probably not gonna work that well, but I've got pink tone skin, so it works so nicely. I just wanted to point that out because it's really inexpensive, but really good. I'm gonna bronze up using my favorite bronzer, my favorite like affordable bronzer, which is the Milani one in 04 Glow. That brush was so clean a second ago. This is like a dupe of the MAC bronzers. and it's just beautiful. It's got like a slight sheen to it. I'm actually just being a bit cheeky and going in with the shade number five as well, just because I want a little bit more um, like depth to my bronzer. There's never gonna be a day that I don't do blue eyeshadow. That day will be very, very, very sad. I'm gonna contour. I'm gonna use one of my favorites. It's also super affordable, the Sleek Face Contour Kit in light. My friend Nicole, I'll link her channel up here. She just did a, I think it was a Look Fantastic unboxing and they were giving one of these away in that box. So if you want a beauty box and you wanna try this, it comes in that. This is actually the ABH highlighting brush, the A23. I'm quite liking this for contour these days. So, I'm gonna take my bronzer brush again. Just make sure I'm blended. That's right, let's, I'm gonna use do blush first, actually. I picked up this, the um, Benefit California. I got a mini because I never finish like full size ones. And I'm gonna try a different brush. This is the Nima. Oh, how on earth do you pronounce that? Blathen? It's an Irish name, I have no idea. It just seems like a really pretty blush. Really coral. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, my favorite blush brush. Easy as that. I was using this for highlight before, but actually, it's really nice for blush. That's such a pretty blush, if you like blush. Blush, blush, I'm gonna stop saying the word blush. I much prefer the minis, because they're only 12 pounds, and I know that's not like cheap, obviously, Benefit's not cheap. But, if you're like me, and you never finish a full size one, you might as well just get the mini because I've had, where is it? This dandelion mini for like, I wanna say like two years, and I know you're not supposed to keep makeup that long, but it's a blush and that's a powder product, and I've only like hit pan on it after two years, and there's still plenty in there. In fact, I'm gonna put a smidge of that, just like at the start, on my cheekbones. Um, let's highlight now. I'm gonna use this because I never ever use it. It's the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. This is an O2 um, Iridescent Pearl. The packaging's really annoying. It's like a little hole. Put some, oh, put way too much in the lid. That's really pretty, but it's coming off very like true gold and it's too dark for my skin I can see a cast let's go in with the BAM Mary Lou this is tried and trusted and tested and loved this is a great highlight and a bit better for my skin tone it's a really nice brush it's the Morphe M501 I really like this for highlighting. So as always, I never know what I'm doing underneath my eye, so I've just 
put some colors on. So I'm just gonna grab, grab a yellow. Pop that on first. I don't know, I just, I always kind of fail on my under eye. Like to me that just looks super pink now. And like not good, so I don't know. I'm gonna just throw on like a heap more yellow. I went under my eyes and I added a lot more kind of blue and yellow so it kind of looks green but I think it looks better than the pink. I don't know. Anyway, for lips I'm going to put in this, put in, put on the Sam Marcel Luxurious Liquid Lipstick in Celine. They sent me a huge like bunch of stuff and I used one of their liquid lipsticks yesterday and I really liked it. Actually, they sent me lip, let me see, hold on. Hold the phone. I might try this first like a bullet lipstick in Angeline. Because it looks like a really nice nude. I don't know if I've even swatched this. Oh, that's pretty. Right, let me try this. I don't actually know much about this brand at all. Uh, but I'll link this down below, as with everything. That's nice, but it's not very exciting. So I'm going to try the liquid lipstick on top in Celine. Oh, that's like exactly the same shade. Right, I'll try and do something with my hair. I'll probably come back looking the same and I might even change my t-shirt and then we'll do our final look at the look. Yeah, my hair isn't achieving anything, but anyway. And I also just took off my t-shirt because I'm probably going to put it straight back on once I've filmed this outro. I am still very lethargic with my flu, so I don't feel like I've got that much energy to do very much. This is my finished look, which is a P. Louise eye recreation and then just lots of makeup on my face, which I enjoy putting on, obviously. <laughs> I do really like how this look came out. Looking at it, I love my skin, that Clinique foundation. I cannot recommend it enough. If you want a high-end, full coverage, beautiful foundation. Really love the BH Take Me Back to Brazil palette. I've used that actually a lot more than I actually thought I would and it's really high quality and I really like it. Um, the Sample Beauty pigments are just incredible. Obviously I have one with them as well, but it's like that Kira B one and then the the Sean Maloney one and the Chloe one, they're like glittery thick pigments, they're beautiful, I'd really recommend those. I really like this lip product actually, it's incredibly comfortable, the Sam Marcel ones, so I'll link them down below, they are American so I'm not sure how easy it is to get them but they have a really nice variety of colours, highlights gorgeous, yeah I just really like how this look came out. Um, let me know what you think of it down below, let me know what looks you want to see. I'm not going to have as much time for um, filming anymore kind of going forward um, so I kind of want to focus on like two or three really good videos a week so let me know what you want to see from me and I will make sure to film those. Also I want to say a really 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 big thank you for 8,000 subscribers on YouTube. I got that today which is the day I'm filming this is the 14th of June. I'm not sure when it will go up, probably like Sunday but um, I hit 8,000 this morning and it was so exciting. So thank you so much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And also there's so many people that comment on like all of my videos and I recognize all the names. You not only comment on my videos, but you also like follow me on Instagram and like comment on my Instagram. So I'll rattle off a few names, but this is by no way just these people. Like there's so many more, but, um, Tracy German, Linda Cumming, Hamish Rankin, he always comments, um, Susie Wilkinson, um, Beauty Investigator, Bernie Kinsella, um, Jane Wilkies, Neutral Tiger, Cara McDonald, Susie H, um, Suze, Lou Magic with an 8 at the end, I don't know how to pronounce this one, Tanja, Tanji, oh I'm probably butchering that, Lee A, Tanja I, 
I'm not sure how to pronounce that. There's so many of you that are just so kind and you always leave really encouraging comments and I'm really not sure where that cut off my battery and my memory card. Well, my memory card filled off and my battery died at the same time there. But anyway, thank you so much for everyone that subscribes. It, it really does mean the world to me. I know it's probably quite far away, but when I hit 10K, I will have another massive giveaway. I'm like already stockpiling stuff for it. So if you are watching this and you don't subscribe, please do because that will come sooner. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up if you did, a comment, subscribe. I need to go to bed and I will see you in my next one, I hope. Bye.